Hey guys, this is Madan Jackson. At first, I have to thank you all for watching my previous UV talk plot video. Hope it may be helpful to everyone. And thanks to those people who did conversations through mail and uh, for requesting and clarifying about the template. That template will be upgraded soon to make easy use of it. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna guide you how to do XRD analysis using my workspace template using Origin. So please note that this template will work in origin 8.5 or above versions only so please take a note of it you are using origin 8 or 8.5 to make uh, this template work of it here i made this origin template based on my seniors template who did the same analysis in microsoft excel instead of doing plotting part in origin and calculation part in excel i make this template to do both plotting and calculation in same origin itself okay let's get into the template here is your template um, in this template see this is the calculation part and this is that the input values those you are going to give here so the plot will become here and this is the wh plot so this will be done after this calculation so in this side everything is here and if you struck anywhere there is a manual here so if you double click manual will come everything is here and if you have any doubts or any error messages it is coming so you just mail here so I'll clarify that so minimize this okay see here i am using origin 8.5.1 so as i mentioned before this will work only in origin 8.5 or above versions so in this calculation part basically uh, i designed in such a manner it will cover almost all calculations so so here are the inputs uh, that we have to give our input values k lambda 2 theta and beta beta which means fwhm uh, full width of maximum and here we have to give jcpds d value that i will discuss we will discuss later and uh, this is the lattice constant input and cell volume input that for that we have to use unit cell software so we discuss that later and uh, strain and intercept we have to obtain from this graph which is uh, the wh plot here from this we have to do some linear fit from that one we have to calculate the slope value and the intercept value so if we put that we will get wh particle size particle size by wh plot so let's move on so we now we are going to give inputs okay basically constant is 0 0.9 and uh, lambda is 1.5 so now we just copy this and paste over here here for five values or more than five you want according to your two theta values so this is the excel sheet that made before this was done by my senior so the same calculation part that we are going to do in origin itself okay now let's copy those values here is the 2 theta copy this and paste it in the 2 theta section now we need beta calculation value so this is the fwhm so we are copying here put it in this beta section paste so now we are getting all those values means theta through this theta cos theta sin theta tan theta all stuffs and from beta degree it is converted into radians so after these all calculations here uh, d is coming the particle size so next thing we have to find the average d uh, this average d is actually uh, calculated for these five values if you have more than 5 2 theta values and beta values for that you have to uh, select this column and right click and and go to set column values and here here you have to change that one if you have uh, 7 values 
you have to replace this 5 with 7 means this is basically the n value which will how many peaks you are having and you just put that value here so it will calculate according to that so in this case here it is 5 um, peaks well peak values are there so you are obtaining this one next thing D brax so this D is basically obtained from n lambda to the sine theta that value so that D is we are obtaining here here there is some uh, through the JCPDS data uh, we obtain these HKL values and at the same time we will obtain this JCPDS D for example here we got the HKL value as I this there so I am copying this and pasting here so through this we obtain lattice parameter next thing is that t from jcpds so copy this and paste it here means those values you have to obtain from jcpds so basically we can get uh, it from the jcpds along with this information so next thing is that deviation how your value is getting deviated from the jcpds so that value is here and next thing is that uh, lattice parameter from this one and dislocation density lattice strain everything is came so for this section we will discuss in next video tutorial how to do with uh, lattice constant cell volume because this for that we have to use unit cell software so we will discuss this later next thing is that these two things okay from here we have to take these two values okay now minimize this just copy these values and go here and paste the values so now you will update your wh plot here from that plot you have to do linear fit and you have to get your these two values so you do it yourself so but we already have this values here slope intercept so this is strain so copy this and paste it here so we get the particle size 50 okay so this is the way the template is working on if so these values actually uh, is true and it is very accurate so after the calculation part is over we have to plot the graph so for that we have to give inputs here so this input is basically we obtain from this data sheet just copy this and paste it here so we'll update graph here so in this graph uh, everything you have to replace these hkl values you have to replace according to your uh, peak values and uh, you have to give your label here and everything is set and do rescaling uh, for your graph and do some smoothening so that's all about this one so minimize this and go to file and use save as instead of save to preserve the template as before okay so that's all about this tutorial guys also i checked this template many times with different data and i compared those calculations between excel and origin if you find any errors or doubts in this template please let me know hope once again it will be helpful for you and reduce your time spending in origin for the xrd analysis at first it may take some time but once you get into this template the analysis can be done within three minutes for one data set so this is Malan jackson thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and give feedback about this tutorial to improve further thank you bye